Well, right back at you, old Chamarino. <laughs> Clansman. Oh, yes. I'm with so shape for a pint. How was Corby? A Corby, aye, it was OK. That's my cousin planted now. Very poor turnout at the funeral. But by all accounts, she was an old bastard anyway. <laughs> Still, that's her estate sorted. She had an estate? No, she lived in an estate. I was just handing the keys back to the council, you know. Did she leave you anything? Eh, hey, no. So, are we going for a pint or what? Yep. Look into your face. Oh, this. Nothing. Just mixing it up a bit. So I go away for a fortnight and I come back and you went into the fried chicken business. Sure, I, I know this looks good. You got a bird? Give me peace. Well, you got a wee chicken then, deep fried. <laughs> Victor, a man does not squeeze a beard out for no reason whatsoever. What is it you're up to? Take a look at this. Oh, aye. That's Derek Bedford. Used to be in Crossroads. Then he retired. Then he got to be the cover guy in the Twilight Monthly magazine. Gets to travel all over the world getting his photographs taken. Flies everywhere for free. Goes holidays. Goes shark fishing. Eats wherever he likes. And he looks a million dollars into the bargain. Well, Jack, you know a lot about him. Yeah, aye, I do, aye. That's not a jealousy thing. <laughs> oh. Lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> aye, well, his luck's ran out. He was jet skiing in Barbados. His steering got locked. Couldn't have turned it, could he? They found him 14 miles off the coast. Did? Cooked. He looked like a pepper ammy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's terrible. He'll be sorely missed. Aye, well, indeed. So that's why I've got the bird. Because you think you can replace Derek Bedford as the Twilight guy? They're looking at people just now. There's a form to be filled in, photos to be sent, an interview. This time, they want a couple. Appeal to the old dames and all. I want that gig, Jack. No, no offence, Victor. I mean, you're a decent looking bloke, but you're going to need more than a daft beard to swing that gig. <clears throat> <clears throat> is that a shark's tooth? I believe it is. Oxfam, one ninety nine. <laughs> Here, press the lift while I just put this away in the cupboard. It's a Y75O. Louise! Don't open the door, the children are very hard. I'm the number one. I'm going to kill the children. When hell freezes over, you've seen the stock numbers. Stuff's going missing. Besides, it's always been two at a time. It was two at a time for my father and two at a time for his father before him. The children are going to kill the children. Okay, four at a time. <laughs> Sorry, father. <laughs> One, two, three. Mina, you only let in three. You buying anything? No. You've been in here before, haven't you? Maybe. Hmm. And as far as I recall, you never bought anything. <sighs> nice recall. Not as much as a flying saucer. <sighs> They're for spacemen. Have you got a name? They call me the Lone Wolf. And uh, why would they call you the Lone Wolf? Because I work alone. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wolf these. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> oh, there you are. The littlest hobo in cat form. Oh. There you go, we fella, my lad. Here you. This is none of your semi skim shite. This is the good, good gear. Gold top. Turn you into a lovely wee fat cat. Come on, get it scuttled. Hey, morning, Joe. Oh, morning, Winston. What you doing? I'm getting the wee cat some scran. I've got a saucer of milk up the stair for it. Oh, I'll put it in your tea. 
because he prefers something more substantial. See that wee stray? I've given it love, attention, sucker. Well, it looks like you're the sucker, because he's clearly moved on from milk. Haven't you, Toby's son? Toby? His name's Bob. <laughs> so the cat's a good fit for me, see? So I don't have to walk it, because a cat's no a dug. Cat's no a dug. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by and cleaning it up for us, Mr. Atten. Tell you something else. A budgie's no a tortoise. <laughs> Top. My point is, the cat's a good fit for Joe as well, because he needs a companionship. This is a battle I'm no losing. What's the wee cat's name? <laughs> well, that's the thing. You see, he's called it Toby, but I've called it Bob. Oh, thanks very much, Winston. You've named the cat after me. If I named the cat after you, it would be called Bobby. Bobby the cat, which is a sexual offence. <laughs> Oh, look who it is. Sean Connery and his wee pal. Odd job. Well, there's your gold finger for you. Two pounds, prick. <laughs> right. Let's be having it then. Who's first? You look like an anorexic Captain Birdseye. <laughs> you look like a junky Kenny Rogers. <laughs> you look like a Kentucky Fried Wanker. I've covered Chicken Bobby. You look like Harold Shipman gone his holidays. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's with the beard? Hey, have you heard of Derek Bedford? Oh, uh, the sporty pensioner off the front of the magazine. Aye, well, he's dead. Mm-hmm. And they're coming to Glasgow. And they're looking for a new guy. And he thinks he's a new guy. Well, I think you'll find I am the new guy. You know gonna get a go, Jack. Get us lanky streak of pish around for his money, eh? Aye. He could be standing there with the surfboard and you could be the beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's uh, no for me all that posing in front of magazines and that. No, that's the pursuit of the vein. Anyway, you shut up, beach ball. Ah, oh, good for you, Victor. What do you have to do? I could just fill a form out, you know, send your photo in. They're looking for a woman and all. Hmm? Are they? Oh, I might throw my hat in the ring. Oh, can be you and me, Victor. Right there in the front cover. <laughs> Bobby, do you have an electric razor behind the counter there? <laughs> the beard's coming off. I think you look smashing in that beard, Victor. Maybe I could be a beach gal. <laughs> Make that an open razor, Bobby. The beard's staying. The wrists are getting it. <laughs> what do cats like? Uh, shagging, licking their bits and sleeping. No, to eat. You haven't got a cat. No, yet. But I will have soon. I need something a cat can't resist. You want these? Buddies, guaranteed to drive a cat to ecstasy. It's crack for cats. It's really only dried out, mashed up fish guts, but it dries them after nut. Oh, two packs, please. Get behind the beads. Huh? Behind the beads! have wandered into the lion's den. There will be no more pilfering. Hear my roar! That doesn't sound like a lion. That sounds more like a big pussy. Cornered. Hurling insults. Not a wolf, but merely a cub. Put my gear back. Lion be Christ. Clarence the cross-eyed lion. <laughs> Come on, wee Bob. Come and get your fix. <laughs> Chicken and lover. Irresistible. 
You're a bastard, Joe. I want that cat. That cat wants me. That cat can't live with you. One rang turning that buggy you using to be roadkill. Oh, aye. And what are you going to do? Let it use your leg as a scratching post. <laughs> Has that cat ever been inside your house? No, yet. Has it ever been inside yours? No. So here's what I'm proposing. The first person to get wee Bob, Toby. Bob, Toby, Toby, Bob, shut up! <laughs> Whoever's house that cat chooses to enter is the victor. And the loser fits a cat flap for the winner. You hear that, Toby? We're getting a cat flap. <laughs> oh, ho, look who it is. Our man in Havana. Well, I'm Havana Lagar. Two. One pint prick. Still gunning for that magazine job, eh? Correct. Fans factor, but you look like Jeremy Corbyn's idiot cousin. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, fans like. Oh, all taken. Where's Jackie, boy? He's away into the tune. He'll be here directly. You couldn't see green cheese, Isaac, could you? How do you mean? Don't start. You done up like a fish supper. <laughs> well, what's the hand when they're looking for a woman as well, and I'm not the only man making an effort. <laughs> what job are you applying for? Coco the bastard and clown! <laughs> I'll see you on the beach. <laughs> well, this is just dandy, isn't it, eh? You try to do something, get the pish ripped out you for it, and then everybody jumps on a bandwagon. Well, you know who your friends are, eh? Come here, Victor. Oh, Jack. I tell me, Shug. That's right. What is it? You don't take your bun off. No. Take your bun off. Hey, no, I'm feeling a bit cold in here, actually. Jack. Nah. Take your bun off, big Jack. Big deal! So I got my hair done this morning. How, how did you spend your afternoon? Getting stretched on a rack? <laughs> Excuse me? What height are you? What a stupid question. The same height I've always been. You've always been six foot one? Aye. Right. I've always been the same height, you and me. I mean, that's why we've always been pals. We're the ACI, aye. Nice trousers, Jack. You got lifts in your shoes, Jack. Yes, Victor, I'm sorry. Listen, cards on the table. I need a shot at this goodness. And I sincerely hope it's not going to affect our friendship, you know what I mean? It will not. May the best man win. Ah, well, glad to hear that. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm uh, going for a pish. Oh. Wolf. Navid. The brass balls of you. To walk in here so brazen when you know that I'm watching you. The wolf needs to eat. And you don't think I'll catch you? <laughs> Not with that big fat belly. <sighs> Fair dues. I stand in defeat. Feel your boots. When you ploy this? I know when I'm beaten. Chocolate bar. Pack of crisps. Ten of kidney beans for the dinner. I love kidney beans. And 
to wash it all down. A ball of fizzle. Four pound eighty, you little bastard. Does she ask? I, s I did roast chicken. Still warm. Would you like a wee bit? Of course she would. Is that you hooked now? Well, the first bit was for free, but if you want another piece of heaven, you're gonna have to work for it. Walk this way. Hey Joe, it's Winston. I hope you've got a saw in the house, cos you are going to be cutting me a cat flap. Oh, you don't believe me. Well, I'll take a wee photo. Yes, Jack. Can you please turn the heating off? Take your cardigan off. No, it's not that. It's just far too warm in here. <laughs> <You're> laughing. <laughs> your hair is running down your face, Jack. Shut the beardy boys. <laughs> right, have you looked through the questionnaire? Oh, have aye. Good. Okay. Let me start at the top. What have you put for outdoor activities? Well, I'm taking yes, because there was a day last summer when it didn't rain. And Bobby did the barbecue in the car park. You and I had a rotten burger. So that's yes. Water sports. You mind we were pissed and we were choking for a slash. And... That's plenty, Jack. <laughs> oh, hold on, but I wasn't a Waverley for Billy Cassidy's stag, so I'm putting sail in. Right. Well, I'm putting sail in as well because I remember being on a pedal with my jean in Santa Ponza. And the reason I remember is because I burnt my forehead, my shoulders and my belly. It was absolutely brutal. Uh, do you ride a horse? Yes. Since when? Blackpool. <laughs> that was a donkey and you fell off it because you were pissed. Donkey zebras, it's all one. <laughs> Here, Jack, do you want to just save time by taking everything? <laughs> you putting your foot in? Aye. Go to dinner, Jerome's. Well, it's swifty print now. Aye. Who done yours? Shug, give us a dig out. I'll give you a look at it then. You first. We'll both go at the same time. Come on! Promise not to laugh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that took? Yesterday. That's a boxing pose. That's correct. But that's a wrestling belt. <laughs> oh no. See, I bought that for the Grand Wayne's Christmas present. Put it in a cupboard and forgot to send it. Think anybody will notice? Nah, be fine. Put it in. Ah. Oh, right. Show's yours. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no good. Oh, I like the way you're staring into the middle distance. Where will I go today, my red E-type Jagger? We'll go to the bookies, we'll go to the butchers, we'll go to the clansmen. <laughs> Whose car is that? That's big bastards. <laughs> you told your last howl, Wolf. In a minute, it is me who'll be howling. With laughter than, than that. Can 
I help you? I'm looking for a child called Lone Wolf. Darren! <laughs> no! I'm begging you both, son. Don't go in. Come on, little babe. Come here, son. Don't do it, Bob. He's a rat bag. <laughs> no! I'm at my wit's end with this one. I don't know where he is half the time, and I don't know what he's up to. Where is husband? He's away a lot of the time, on business. He's a diamond merchant, you see. Really? Oh, aye, that's why we're living like the Kardashians. No, he's pissed off. With the diamonds? Oh, I see. The diamonds are part of the Kardashian sarcasm. You need to pay back every penny you stole from Mr Harid. How am I going to do that? I've no money. What age are you, Darren? Thirteen last week. Well, it would appear that thirteen is your lucky number. How have you done that, you sleek it bastard? Fresh fish caught in the ocean this morning. <laughs> Cat flap, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next. You all right? I was, I, but now I feel a wee bit jumpy. Listen, all we want out of this is for one of the two years to win it. You've got every chance in the world. Thanks, Jack. So do you. Just go in there and be the best version of yourself. I love the beaches. The shan. <laughs> Seashells. I also like barbecues. I like chops, ribs, and um, and sausages. Has anyone told you you sound a bit like Sean Connery? <laughs> it has been shed. Thanks for coming in. Shanks. <laughs> First three weeks, no wages, until I'm paid back. After that, you make good money. Thanks, Mr. Harid. I really do appreciate the opportunity. I won't let you down. Good lad. <laughs> so it's Isa. Oui, Isa. Little Isa, my nearly. Training. I see you didn't put your age. No, a lady never discusses her age. <laughs> you see, Mr. Mullen, the couple we are looking for have to have that outdoor glow, that sea sprayed sparkle, a face that says, I've had a life and I'm still living it. Have you had any work done? I am aghast, shocked, and horrified that you would even suggest such a thing. Thanks very much, Mr. Jarvis. It was a pleasure meeting you. Oh, is that it? Oh, well, if you'd allow me for a second. The ladies love this, by the way. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. That's fine. Thank you, Mr. Shut up a minute. There's a bit of it coming. I like to go swimming and shag loads oh, of women. OK. That's enough of that. Thank you. A job. All these papers are heavy and my legs are killing me. See you later, mate. Good job, Winston. Ah, you're welcome, Joe. A bet's a bet. Can 
I know put a cat flap in my door and on, we can share the bloody cat. I'm not the sharing type, Winston. I won the bet, and what's mine's name? Well, that's the way I like it. I thought you suited that beard. Uh, but once I knew I'd lost, I just wanted it half, you know. <laughs> I see you're back to five foot two. Five foot eight, you cheeky big bastard. <laughs> hmm. Me dye my hair, Paul McCartney Brown as well. And it'll not be long till you're back to normal. <laughs> Most of my 42 wouldn't accept my bus pass. To pay full price. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Twilight. Oh, <laughs> well done, Shug. Well deserved, Shug. What can I tell you? My years in the Navy, my specialised skill set, I am an outdoor man. What about the wig? Oh, they never even noticed it. <laughs> Mr. Twilight, yeah. Shug. Yeah. This is Twilight. <laughs> Edith. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, Edith. You look human. human. <laughs> Did you be hairy moles? They, they took the bath. There's a wee keepsake. Oh. <laughs> and your hump? Comes out it was the curvature of the spine. It was just fluid. Yeah. <laughs> what can I get the glamorous girl? A pina colada? A Cuba Libra? Pina Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is, Joe. A wolf in sheepish clothing. I'm sorry, Joe. My feet were sore and I just wanted a shot. No harm done, son. We'll say no more about it. Your lucky son. Another chance. You were at a fork in the road. Down one path, a life of petty crime and infamy. The other road, hard work, reward, respect. 